Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills and today I'm doing a follow-up on my previous look at modern jiu-jitsu and MMA with a film study on traditional BJJ in mixed martial arts in the Kron Gracie and Tatsuya Kawajiri fight from Ryzen Fighting Federation's World Grand Prix 2016. In doing this study, I mainly wanted to focus on a few technical elements that showcased Kron's BJJ in an MMA context. In this first sequence, Kron looks to close the distance by controlling Kawajiri's rear hand and entering the clinch. Once there, Kron positions his head on the lead side of Kawajiri's face, removing the threat of strikes from the lead hand and allowing him to focus on controlling the inside position with his left arm. Having the inside arm position in the clinch generally removes some of the sting from Kawajiri's shots, as to land cleanly, he needs to get around Kron's arm and when Kawajiri pulls his arm back to strike again, Kron is able to land with his own strikes. In all the 50-50s where each person had an equal opportunity to strike, Kron was able to negate Kawajiri's striking by entering into the clinch. Which then brings us to the next technical element that Kron showed in this fight, pulling guard. In this sequence, Kron enters the clinch with his right arm and secures outside control with his left arm. As Kawajiri tries to retreat from the clinch, Kron is able to break Kawajiri's posture with his head control and successfully complete the guard pull. Here is another example where Kron enters while driving forward. In this second example, he first secures an underhook followed by an overhook. Kron also makes a technical modification as he does not have the head control to break Kawajiri's posture, instead switching his underhooking arm to chase the sweep on the leg. Although Kawajiri evades Kron's arm, by bringing his legs closer together, he no longer has the base to prevent Kron's weight from pulling him down into his guard. The last technical element I wanted to focus on from this fight is the concept of damage mitigation. There are so many other elements that I haven't covered and a lot of things that Kawajiri did well as well. So if you haven't already watched this fight, please check it out. And if you have, go and rewatch it to look out for the technical details I've discussed in this film study. Kron's ability to sense when Kawajiri is loading up his shots is almost telepathic and he utilizes a mixture of hand trapping, blocking and clinching to prevent Kawajiri's strikes from doing much damage. One thing I noticed is that Kron will often open up his closed guard when Kawajiri loads his shots, providing Kron with great ability to crunch in, but also giving him an added advantage of a potential angle change. Here is one last sequence showcasing Kron taking advantage of a failed strike. Full credit goes to Ryzen Fighting Federation and the fighters Kron Gracie and Tatsuya Kawajiri. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in mixed martial arts. Thanks for watching.